Um, how's Soundwave been for CKY? Great. Right. I'm so kind of bummed it's over. It's been awesome because all the bands get to hang out and travel together and um, get into bands we really never even had a chance to see, let alone hang out with and eat dinner with and just drive And we around. have this reputation for being a-holes, so we, we prove them wrong. Well, we're we do not have a reputation for being a-holes. Look, man. But no, we've but been now Daniel Davis is in the band and things are different. He's a defibrillator. Yeah. There's, there's a whole new energy to this whole CKY, and I'm into it. I'm uh, Matthew Puppy. What does 2012 have planned for CKY after you leave Australia? Well, we're going to try to make some new music with Daniel and hopefully uh, you it's know, August. play some shows uh, Isn't outside the world of the US. supposed to end this year? So we need to play a gig on that day. The world is going to end in 2012. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, so uh, we're going to play a gig on that day. On that day? Yeah. Mine. Dude, we're going down, man. And I don't believe it. We're going to go down rocking. There was a lot of speak on the internet uh, last year that CKY were breaking up. I'm assuming now with Daniel and the band that isn't an accurate rumor? Well, no, we wouldn't be here if we had broken up. It's, it's, well, this kind of was a test to see what was happening, but it's going great. We're going to see how it goes after this as well. But uh, it's really been an a good time for this tour. We didn't want to cancel or do anything like that. The rest of the band remains intact. So, um, how's the reaction been? Great. So, yeah. Fucking amazing. And I thought that 12:30, like, who shows up at 12:30? I'm like, <coughs> I don't know about all this. I go to the first one. So many people. It's awesome. And they're all chanting CKY before and after they play. Ten thousand a day. Huh? Um, what's been the highlight for you guys? Like, this is what, your second, third trip to Australia? Third. Yeah, we've been here three Me times. Me getting beat up was pretty entertaining. Yeah, I heard about that. Uh, was that in Adelaide? Saw the black eye. Nice work. Uh, what happened there? Uh, some rugby dude had something to say. Two, two rugby dudes. And then I spit in his face, and when you spit in somebody's face, if you don't punch me in the face, then you're pretty much a pussy. <laughs> so that's what he did. And I want to shake his hand because I slept very well that night. Thank you. <laughs> so he was passed out in the street for in, in Adelaide for a good five, ten minutes. And when he woke up, we got up and another fight broke out across the street. And there was two gunshots, like, real close to Do us. You know he fired into a crowded street in Adelaide. Adelaide's insane at night. And yeah. uh, then he, he hears the gunshots. And he's like, wait, gunshots, let's go check, go back and check it out. <laughs> but Shatter's Ball just told me that uh, I was on the news last night because of that. When they say I got knocked out and then gunshots happened because of me. That's cool. But it, it wasn't because of me. It was some other problem somewhere else. It's just wherever Bam goes, chaos happens. Like, he just took a piss on some shed and then the security guard runs up and he's like, you can't piss there. And then he got hit by a truck. <laughs> Like it the wasn't security guy was like, you can't. Yeah. It wasn't hard, but like he, he definitely got shaken up by it. And I was just sitting there watching, like, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> when can Australia expect to see you guys back here? ASAP. Let's, yeah. let's fucking book a tour here ASAP. We've had a good time every time we've been here. Yeah. Matthew Puppy is having such a great time. Yeah. Here. yeah. Right. Matt Puppy over here rolls. Is this your first time here? No. no. He was here with us two years ago yeah. when we played. Were you on base or key? It's your second time here. You're on, uh, you're on base on that base. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you guys prefer doing club tours like you did last time you were here or festival dates like Soundwave? Both. Both? Yeah, each one has its perks. But, I mean, it's pretty rad playing in, to this crowd. Like, it's a huge crowd. You get to hang out with a lot of different bands. The set's a lot shorter, but you get to play in front of people who wouldn't have seen you normally. It's totally different. Yeah. Um, what's the last thing you guys do before you go on stage and the first thing you do as soon as you get off? Chad looks for weed. <laughs> Found it. Yeah. Uh, I threw up after we played. Because of the heat. Yeah, because I'm, I'm not feeling too good and I was really hot. Because you were on a fender, pal. No, I wasn't on a fender. I was just, I, I coughed up all this. That's a great story, Green Jess. Shit. Great story, Jess. <laughs> on this tour, the first thing we do TMI. before we play is wake up. It's the morning. So <laughs> that's what we've been doing is getting in the coach to, to get to the festival, running to the stage, and then just basically 
getting right in there, doing sound check in front of everybody, ban, 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 ban. <laughs> and I was like, all right, um, last question for you guys. Uh, in this day and age of the internet and having the ability to download whole movies, whole music, or whole albums for free, um, what's CKY's take on it? Are you pro downloading? I am. Or? I've always loved it. I mean, you know, I get everything for free. I still buy CDs. Well, I bought a studio, so our produ the production of our albums doesn't cost a ton anymore because I already own the studio, so at this point, it's not a big loss. As long as we can still play shows is the nature of the point. And maybe people will get to hear it that wouldn't normally buy it. But if you like it, it's fucking 99 cents. Spend the 99 cents. Well, there's different <laughs> ways. Band camp and stuff like that. Bands are setting their own price. Bands are paying 20 bucks a song sometimes if they want. I don't know why they do that, but... It's pretty cool. Because if everybody gets it for free, then it's really hard to get back into a studio. A lot of people don't even know how to get it for free. Yeah. Get a Torrent client, download the Torrent, put it into the Torrent client. Now they know. <laughs> um, who have been the bands for you guys that you've wanted to see on this tour? I want to see Black Bill Bright. Black Bill Bright. <laughs> well, I, I, I wanted to see, see Marilyn Manson. And Tusha Shikari. Marilyn Manson. Well, I never saw The guys him. in Hell Yeah are really cool. Apparently, I haven't been able to see him, but he got booed off stage last time. Manson got booed off in Sydney. In Sydney, yeah. yeah. You heard about this, too? Yep. Yeah. I, me and Daniel caught him in Sydney. Do you know why? He was hopped up. He was on something. Yeah, but um, yeah. the last time he did a festival in Perth, the same thing happened. About halfway through his set, he was just getting pelted with shit. And, wow. Uh, I love him, though. So. But yeah, he put on a good show just by, you know. Well, it's probably because Slipknot was setting up right after yeah. him. So that's right. Um, all the crowd was chanting for Slipknot over him, and he got busy about it. Because they were probably bringing out Slipknot banners and amps and everything. Yeah. That sucks.